Hello friends, welcome to our channel Finance and Entertainment. Uh, today we are talking about uh, a company by the name ITI Limited. ITI is a PSU company and has uh, five manufacturing facilities and uh, one R&D center at Bangalore. ITI is engaged in uh, projects of national importance as le- such as ESCON, BharatNet, uh, smart energy meters, uh, space programs and all. Uh, it has a uh, very good rapport with all the PSUs and uh, also state governments as well. Uh, they have uh, uh, key products like uh, GPON, managed lease lines, uh, IoT is, uh, is a game changer for ITI. So they have entered into I- uh, IoT as well and data center hosting solutions as well. Let's talk about the products and services in detail. Uh, they are offering their uh, products and services into de- defense, communication, security, encryption products. Uh, they are working on communication network projects for India's defense forces. They are get, getting regular orders from defense as well. Uh, along with it, optical and data network products and services uh, and passive infrastructure products is also something which is of prime importance for them. Uh, they are working on broadband products and services, uh, managed lease line products, uh, IT products and services is also important like uh, they are into hosting and services. Along with this, as I mentioned, IoT is, is a big thing. Let's talk about ITI's importance for Government of India. So ITI is engaged in various projects of national importance as I mentioned, ESCON, BharatNet, Smart Energy Meter, Space Programs. Uh, also ITI contributes to a number of campaign and policy initiatives sponsored by GOE. So Make in India, Digital India, Pradhan Mantri, Kaushal Vikas Yojana, Swachh Bharat, uh, these are the few uh initiatives which government has taken and uh, ITI is a very important stakeholder in all these kind of initiatives as well now let's talk about their financials so i mentioned uh, the uh, the yearly performance and quarterly performance if you see the yearly performance from march 2015 it was clocking around uh, 573 crores of total revenue whereas it has already t- tripled now in march 2019 and uh, profit Net profit or loss also, if you see from minus 297 crore, it has reached to 92 crores in 2019. So overall performance was good. Uh, quarterly performance also, if you look at uh, September 18, it was around 284 crores, whereas in September 19, the total quant- uh, revenue was 419 crores. Now let's talk about the growth strategies. ITI has been developing and introducing new products in collaboration with their technology partners. Uh, they are trying to target customers across sectors like uh, telecom, IT, banks, defense. ITI has been upgrading its manufacturing facilities and infrastructure as well. Uh, also, ITI plans to continuously upgrade and invest in technology through acquisition of technology from strategic partners. ITI intends to monetize its land property by f- finding additional and alternative uses not just selling it off so there are no plans to sell or sell off their uh, land let's talk about indian telecom industry scenario indian telecom industry is still develop in the development stage and uh, growing with a CAGR of 7.9 percent uh, if you see wireless subscriber has uh, is, is stagnated but data subscriber has uh, still growing quite rapidly uh, the key industry drivers uh, are the expected increase in the subscriber base and the focus of telecom operators to improve service quality. Uh, also, Government of India's initiatives such as Make in India and Digital India have provided impetus for development of local manufacturing units and uh, projects such as uh, BharatNet, Smart Cities, Mission have also boosted demand of telecom equipment which will ultimately help uh, ITI. Right. Uh, with increase in the number of local manufacturing, dependence on import will decline and MNCs uh, have set up uh, units in India. Let's uh, see like uh, ITI is uh, also scheduled to float a f- uh, FPO to list an additional 18 crore equity shares. ITI has a very robust order book of 22,000 crores uh, and which will be executed over three years. Uh, the management has a top priority of uh, be- turning uh, into cash rich rather than profitable. Profitable they became profitable uh, quite long back now. Promoters so holding is around ninety percent. So government is government of India is holding around ninety percent of their shares. Uh, along with this, uh, let's talk about the technicals. RSI is quoting around fifty seven point four. Bollinger Band is also like uh, price is touching the median and hence is the. Uh, right time to buy the product uh, stock as well 
MACD is also quoting around 1.4, which is a bullish signal. Uh, the uh, the overall moving averages is, is uh, at this year is quoting uh, below moving average of uh, five and ten, but uh, well above the uh, well above uh, moving average of two hundred, hundred fifty, and twenty. So this is like uh, you can buy this stock uh, in between eighty five to ninety is the best time to buy or ninety one. Uh, the same same thing has been shown in this uh, picture. Like uh, Bollinger Band is uh, showing that uh, it is quoting at the median. Uh, uh, MACD is also quoting at the right time, right place. Uh, so you can buy this stock. And RSI is also from eighty four, eighty five to now it is fifty three, fifty four. So and uh, also this is a value buy. If in case you buy the stock, keep it with you for uh, on a long term basis because the company is uh, now started growing and has lot of potential to grow as well in the future. Now let's talk about uh, how uh, the stock has performed in the last session. So it is closed at ninety four point seven zero. The good thing in this is like the delivery volume is around thirty seven point four three percent. If you really like this video kindly uh, subscribe my channel and uh, hit the uh, bell icon thank you so much for your patience hearing